the second time this month, an earthquake cluster rattling the Sierra, this time centered in the middle of Lake Tahoe. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Elizabeth Kling. And I'm Tony Lopez. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in North Lake Tahoe with the deep water danger. Laura. That's right. Wildfires are not the only natural disaster on the radar of regional experts. There's something else they're worried about, and it lies deep beneath Lake Tahoe. Earth, wind, water, and fire. What makes California dangerous also makes it beautiful. The beauty of California is brought about by its geological, geologically active condition. The Lake Tahoe itself owes its existence to faults. State geologist Steve Boland says the region has recently experienced earthquakes in rapid succession. We happen to be in a little bit of an active period right now. At the end of April, a 3.8 magnitude earthquake hit the center of Lake Tahoe, followed by a 4.7 magnitude earthquake in Truckee, felt from Sacramento all the way to Reno. There were some lights and stuff swinging, some fell off the water. While seismologists are tracking the activity, it's not uncommon, but the fault lines in Lake Tahoe pose another threat as well. There is a tsunami hazard around Lake Tahoe. A magnitude 7 quake coming from the lake, though unlikely, could cause tsunami-like waves. It would be a very significant emergency response effort in the Tahoe area if a magnitude 7 were to occur. But how would you know if a tsunami hit? If you feel an earthquake, for extended periods of shaking, you really ought to think about moving to higher ground quickly as possible. It's kind of an interesting idea, though, thinking that there could be a tsunami in Lake Tahoe. But it's not something to sell your lakefront house over. Geologist Steve Bolin says just be prepared. Californians, they should have a safety kit, food, water, have a family plan to get together, maybe when cell phones are down. Now, there is an early warning system called Shake Alert. Pay attention. That will give you precious extra seconds when an earthquake does hit. Yeah, good to know. Thanks, Laura.